Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to run the game Apex Legends on any Apple Silicon Mac. So unfortunately, it's not possible to run the mobile version of Apex Legends. There is an iOS version, but this cannot be run without being banned for 10 years. Also, we cannot run the game locally through a virtual machine. So we can actually run the R5 Reloaded version, but not the actual online version that the rest of the world plays. And this is all down to easy anti-cheat and running the game through crossover or any kind of virtualization is not going to work. Therefore, the only option left is to use a cloud streaming service. So today I'm going to show you how to run the game using Boosteroid. Now, Boosteroid is a service that can run dozens of different games. But today, specifically, we're going to be showing you how to get Steam running and also Apex Legends running too. And I'm also going to show you how to reduce latency and get the best possible gaming experience. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So what we're going to do here is go to the boostroid.com website, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description. If you do click the link and make a purchase, I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So what we're going to do here is click the sign in button on the top right hand side, and then we will create a new account. Or if you have an account already, then go ahead and log in. Here I'm going to press create an account and I'll enter my email, phone and password details. So once I've signed up, it's asked us to activate with our email account. Just go ahead and find the email and then press activate account. And then we're going to log in with the account we just created. And now Beastroid is ready to go. So one thing that you should definitely do is to test the speed of your internet connection before you make any purchase for Beastroid. So just click the button at the top right hand side of the screen. So here it's saying that my connection is too slow, but that's because I'm running this through Wi-Fi. So one thing I highly recommend doing is connecting your MacBook directly to the internet using an ethernet cable. So what I'm using is a DockTech dock, and this allows you to add various USB devices, charging, etc. But the most important thing is that we have an Ethernet cable which connects directly to our router. This is going to hugely improve our latency. If you use Wi Fi, then you're going to experience some dropouts, some lag, and this is going to be death for cloud gaming. So make sure to check the link in the description for this DocTech hub. And then here, what we're going to do is to make sure that we disconnect our Wi Fi. And then if we click on network settings, you can see here that we have our dock connected and that we're connected to the internet only through the Ethernet port. So now that we're connected via Ethernet, we're getting a decent latency of 16 milliseconds, which is the recommended number as long as it's under 20 milliseconds. And we're getting a bandwidth of 46 megabit per second, which is over the recommended 25 megabit per second. So we're getting an excellent score here. As long as you get an excellent score like this, then this cloud gaming service is probably going to work great for you. If you have any issues, then make sure to check out the connection improvement tips. Use a cable instead of Wi-Fi. Make sure your devices aren't downloading anything. And make sure that you're the only one using your internet connection. So now what we're going to do is to click the subscribe and play button and we're going to start a subscription. So on the left we have the per month subscription so that's paying month by month so you can just cancel at any time. On the right hand side we have the ultimate subscription which is $7.49 per month however you're locked into one annual payment of €89.89. Today what we're going to be doing is the monthly subscription. It's probably the best for you if you want to test this out for the very first time so click on this. Here we're going to accept the terms and conditions and then we're going to go ahead and make a payment. So now our payment has gone through. I'm going to be free to start using the service. So I've now gone ahead and subscribed. I'm going to go ahead and start loading up games. So what we're going to do now is to play the game Apex Legends. So we're going to go ahead and type in the search bar and we're going to be using the Steam version to play. So we're going to press install and play. And then this is going to go ahead and launch Apex Legends through Steam. So here we're going to accept the terms and conditions, press accept. What I'm going to do is to sign in to my Steam account now. So I'm going to type in my username and password or we can scan with the QR code with the mobile Steam app. So Steam is loaded up through Boosteroid and it looks like we have the software running through the web browser that's being streamed through the internet. And what we can do now is to press the green button on the top left, and that's going to full screen the window for us. So now we've logged into Steam, we're going to go to the library, we're going to type in Apex, and then we're going to go ahead and you can see that it's installed. We can just press the play button and it's going to start the install process onto the Boostroid server, press play, and that's going to launch. And this is launching despite the fact that it has easy anti-cheat. So Apex Legends is launching now, and then we're going to go into game. So it's saying here it's compiling shaders, just wait for that to finish. And what I'm going to do now is just show you how this game runs. We're going to play the firing range, just show you what the lag is like. So we're going to go ahead and just play the firing range. See, it feels quite responsive, despite the fact that this is all being streamed over the internet. It's going to go ahead and find a decent weapon. So this is a good weapon to test out latency. So I'm just going to press fire. And you're going to see that there is a little bit of latency, but it does feel quite playable. You can also see this demonstrated with a controller. So I'm just going to pair up my controller, which is already paired with the Mac. You can press fire here with the trigger. And that is not too bad at all. 
So anyway, that's how you get Apex Legends running through cloud streaming on the M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. I know that this isn't as good as running the game locally. However, it's pretty much the only option going forward. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.